here is a reading about the importance of taming your heart, and it comes from the 15th century teaching novel, Seven Taoist Masters. And this is a wonderful book. It is very readable novel, and it would be a great book club book for learning about Taoism. And it follows the stories of uh, the seven real people from the 11th and 12th century and how they got to enlightenment by all of these different pathways. And so I think there's a lot of very practical lessons in here that we can take. So from the beginning of chapter five, if one wants to attain enlightenment, one must begin by cultivating the heart, though in brackets it says, or mind. If the heart is true, the body will be healthy and all one's actions will be virtuous. If the heart is untrue, the body will be unhealthy and all one's actions will be without virtue. This is why those who are attempting to cultivate the Tao in themselves begin with taming the heart. When the heart is tamed, the intentions will be sincere. If the heart is not tamed, the intentions will be insincere and desire and craving will rise. As a result, the Tao will be lost forever. The ancient sages said, when untamed thoughts arise, the spirit will leave. When the spirit leaves, the six thieves eyes, ears, mouth, nose, body, thoughts, will disrupt the heart. When the heart is, di is disrupted, the body has no center and you will be doomed to reincarnation. You may become an animal, a hungry ghost, or a wandering soul. Do not let your thoughts lead you astray or else you will be sunk into 10,000 karmic retributions. The difference between mortals and immortals lies in whether the heart is true and void of untamed thoughts. If your heart is not tamed, no matter how frequently you chant the scriptures or make offerings to the heavenly lords, you will not be able to achieve enlightenment.